so I just woke up and I, I checked my phone and my boy texted me. He said Deshaun Watson, six games. And initially I was a tiny bit surprised, but at the same time I was like, nah, uh, it, it's it's not really uh, a shocker. Um, the NFL is a business. It, it is a business and a business is in business to make money. Um, this was always a very uh, tricky situation um, ever since all these reports and allegations and whatnot, they first started coming out. Um, and then like that was when Deshaun Watson was still with the Texans. And then with the Browns, when, when they jumped out there, like really jumped out there. And, and apparently the Falcons and the Saints and the Panthers. Uh, and it seemed at one point the Dolphins, all those teams were willing to take that risk. But I think that those teams, they were willing to take that risk despite all the allegations because they know how the business works. And with the business, um, it's money over everything. With, with this business, uh, money is the, the, the biggest factor. Um, Deshaun Watson, when the Browns, they traded for Deshaun Watson, they made it official. And not only trading for him, but then signing him to that record-breaking deal despite all the allegations. And again, me or you, none of us uh, know what really happened. Only Deshaun Watson and the people involved, only they know what really happened. Um, but there's been a lot of inconsistencies uh, with the whole scenario. Um, there's just been a lot of inconsistencies, uh, even with the NFL. Now, with Deshaun Watson, I, I believe there was one point where he said, uh, I don't plan on settling with anybody. Now, I'm going to ride this thing out. I, I do not plan on settling. But I know it was reported today that he ended up settling with, like, I think tw either 22 or 23 out of 24 people that were involved in the allegations. So that change, that's a big change right there, too. Um, and yeah, I know even though you don't plan on doing something, you could change your mind. Uh, we've all changed our mind on stuff before it happens. Uh, but that's a that's a big mind change right there. But um, with this, I know most people's uh, most people's issue uh, with this is just the inconsistency. Uh, because one thing that I've been seeing uh, is people, different people talking about how different players and whatnot have been suspended uh, for longer amounts of time or around the same amounts of time for different things like. There's this list. Calvin Ridley suspended for the whole year for betting. Um, a uh, Vontez Burfitt, 12 games for targeting. Oh, I didn't even know he had that much for targeting. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins this year, six games uh, for performance enhancement drugs. Um, Martavius Bryant suspended indefinitely for weed. Josh Gordon it seemed like indefinitely, but they said 25 plus games for weed. Darren Waller, 16 games, substance abuse to Sean Watson, six games, 25 uh, accusations. So um, with the with the NFL, we know there's a lot of inconsistency. But one thing that I think a lot of people uh, are not understanding with this is that this with a lot of these those suspensions that we just went over. Those were done by the NFL. This case right here, the NFL and the NFLPA, they appointed this judge, Sue Robinson. They appointed her to like, hey, you take it. You handle this. You do your thing and you do your ruling. NFL apparently wanted Deshaun Watson going the whole year. But the NFLPA and Deshaun Watson, they obviously didn't want him going at all. Um, now, it said that the NFL, they can actually still appeal this because, again, this is not the NFL's ruling. This is the judge's ruling who the NFL and NFLPA were like, all right, you handle it. So this is not coming directly from the NFL, even though, like, if it did come from the, directly from the NFL, who knows? But again, apparently, that's what was, that's what was said that the NFL would have wanted Deshaun Watson going the entire year. So if the NFL decides to end up suing and I mean, end up appealing, excuse me, if they decide to end up appealing uh, the six games, then Deshaun Watson and his camp and NFLPA, they could end up suing them. They could end up suing them. Uh, so this thing, it, it, it could be over, but uh, it may not be over. So we just got to wait it out and see. 
Um, but for now, the ruling is six games. You know what's funny? Um, when we first looked at the schedule with all this Deshaun Watson stuff going on, and of course, uh, he was already on the Browns by then. Um, we looked at the schedule and we were like, huh, the Ravens play the Browns week seven. And I said it in the video, watch, watch the NFL suspend Deshaun Watson for like six games so he can come back, must see TV, Ravens, Browns, oh, the ratings will go crazy. They will go crazy. And they will go crazy, at least for now, with the ruling that it is uh, for now. Um, it's the NFL, man. That's, again, that's the NFL. That's Sue Robinson. And even, even though this is not the NFL's ruling, um, with Sue Robinson, it, 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 it's, it still shows just, it still shows kind of a lack of, in, a lack of consistency um, with how different things are approached. Um, when it comes to the NFL and, and it's crazy and of course I'm sure as a judge you you must have looked at past cases um, you must have looked at past circumstances and whatnot um, but that's what it is man that's what it is so we'll see what happens next we'll see if any appeals end up happening um, I don't know what to think is going to go down, but I, I mean, I would think the NFL, they would try to appeal it. Um, but I wonder if if the NFL tries to appeal this, I wonder if Deshaun Watson and NFLPA, uh, if they'll try to use last year like, hey, he missed all the last year, even though he wasn't technically suspended, but he missed all the last year. Uh, so if they'll try to like use that as time served or, or time served because it ain't like he's going to jail uh but but time served uh since i don't know we'll see man but anyway i love y'all team keep it clean i, I appreciate y'all um and y'all just keep your heads up we out